Good day kids. Here we are again with another episode of our Industrial Art 6, Creative and Innovative Ways of Enhancing and Decorating Bamboo, Wood, and Metal Products. I am your teacher James Urbeo, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back and enjoy learning. Industrial Art 6, Creative and Innovative Ways of Enhancing and Decorating Bamboo, Wood, and Metal Products. Enhancing our finished products make their appearance more attractive, parts are protected, and well refined. It also makes our product more interesting to the user. Decorating finished products made from bamboo, wood and metal comes in so many ways, method or techniques depending on the kind materials you use. Enhancing also involves your creativeness and innovativeness. These two should be accompanied by any chosen methods to make your work successful. Products made from bamboo, wood, and metal are much in demand both in the local and international market. With the bigger needs of consumers many handicraft makers continue creating and innovating different products made from these materials. Steps on enhancing wood and bamboo products. Wood turning. 1. Prepare all materials needed. These includes wood with lathe and basic turning tools like parting tools, gouge, skew chisel and scrapper. 2. Setup of your lathe on the area that is easy to clean up from wood chips and dust and well lighted. 3. Make a sketch of the design you want on a sheet of paper. 4. Make marking of center points on your stock. This is done by drawing a line from one corner to opposite corner of a square or rectangular stock. The center is the point that lines intersect. 5. Mount the wood by placing its center on the headstock of the lathe spur. 6. Slide the tail stock center spur to the center of the other end of the wood to lock it. Seven. Secure wood is between the center by turning the handle on the tailstock center to drive the wood blank into the spurn of the headstock. 8. Set the tool rest near the center of the workpiece as close as possible, without hitting the wood when it is turning. 9. Start the lathe on low speed. 10. Start turning your wood, with the use of large gouge to rough out and round off the piece. 11. Use of parting tools and calipers. Set these tools to the depth of cut set you need. 12. You skew chisel to make an angle or design your stock. 13. After you turned your piece to the design you want polish it with sandpaper while it is still mounted. Begin with 180 grit and finish with 360 grit or higher sandpaper. 14. Cut the end of the work that is attached to the headstock with fine toothed handsaw. Pyrography. 1. Prepare your preferred and refined blanks such as wood or bamboo. 2. Make your design. Transfer your design by tracing, use of cut out or a freehand drawing onto the prepared blank. Four, use a skew tip soldering gun to burn the outline on your project. Five, after outlining, use soldering gun with broad foot tip for shading or filling your design. Six, apply stains or oils to bring out the design and to enhance your project. Hand carving. 1. Decide what you want to carve by choosing what type of carving you want, whittling relief carving, carving in the round, or chip carving. 2. Make a drawing or a plan. It is very important before you start your project. Three. Prepare your materials such as a piece of wood that sweets to what you want to carve, carving tools and design. Four. Transfer your design to the wood by using a pencil to lightly sketch the intended cuts and gouges before picking up any of your tools. 5. Rough out. This to remove as much wood as possible until you visualize the basic shape of the piece.
6. Modeling. Remove excess material as possible until the overall form of the piece develops. 7. Detailing. This is to add details to the carving once the overall form is complete by using smaller tools. 8. You need to apply wood finish to your carving to protect it from moisture, oils, dirt, and other debris. Flocking. 1. Put masking tape on outside edges to keep it from any unwanted drips or areas you don't want to flock. 2. Load the mini flocker with the fibers but do not fill the tube completely. Put the tube back together and set it aside. 3. Brush an adhesive on the areas to be flocked. It should be done quickly so that it will not dry before adding the fibers. Four. Start pumping the fibers in the flocker right on the wet adhesive. Use storage container when doing this. Fibers that do not make it onto the adhesive can be collected and reused to another project. 5. Remove masking tape and let it dry for 24 hours. 6. Use soft brush to whip away any loose fibers in your project. In laying, 1. Prepare your tools and materials before you start. 2. Draw, create a design on a separate, individual pieces. Plan of what colors or materials you want each piece to be. 3. Cut your design using hand tools such as chisel, coping saw or a sharp knife. 4. Determine the location of your piece where you wanted it to inlay and trace its outline. Five. Cut the outline of the piece using a knife. Do it until you reach the desired depth. Six. Check from time to time if the two materials are fit when the piece is inserted. 7. If you are now sure to its fit, put a right amount of glue to the materials. Apply pressure by clamping until the glue is dry. 8. Finish it by applying finishing materials to add accent and protection to your project. Gilding. 1. Preparing of object A sand the surface until it is smooth. Be covered with masking tape the areas you do not want to gild. C. Apply primer to the object and let it dry. D. Apply the gilding or adhesive size with paint brush. You wait for 30 minutes to make the sizer become tacky. 2. Applying of gold leaf A. Cut the gold leaf into smaller pieces to make it easier to apply. B. Remove the leaf from the backing paper and lay on the surface of the object. C. Burnish the gold leaf with dry brush or your fingers. D. Smooth the leaf by putting tissue paper backing on top of the leaf to avoid tearing. Use your index finger to burnish the leaf and remove any air pockets. E. Use Gilder's brush to make the leaf to stick to the object completely and smoothly. F. Check if there are any holes or parts not covered with gold leaf. Cover it with small bits of leaf. G. Seal the gold leaf by applying an acrylic top coat. This will protect the leaf from damage. Staining. 1. Choose wood stains and wood conditioner that are compatible or with same base. Example, water-based stain to water-based conditioner. 2. Sand the wood going in the direction of the grain with 120 grit sandpaper until flaws removed. Repeat with 220 grit sandpaper. 3. Apply conditioner on the surface and let it sit for 15 minutes. 4. Wipe away excess wood conditioner with clean rag. 5. Before applying a stain, Sand again the wood with 220 grit sandpaper or higher in the direction of the grain. Remove the dust with clean cloth or rag. Apply stain with the use of rag or brush. Wait for 15 minutes then wipe excess stain 7. Apply second coat of stain if needed. Then let it dry for 4 hours 8. After the stain dried, apply first coating of protective finishing coat. 9. After the first coating fully dries, lightly sand your project with 220 grit sandpaper. Wipe away dust with clean cloth 10. Apply second coat and let it dry completely. Painting. A preparing project for painting. 1. Check your project for any holes, scratches, or cracks 2. Put fillers or wood putty for the areas that is needed. Wait until it dries and harden completely 3. Start sanding your project with rough coarse sandpaper, 80 to 100 grit sandpaper. Sanding should be in the direction of the grain of wood 4. Finish sanding with fine sandpaper 5. Clean your project from any dust or wood residue after sanding 6. 
Apply primer or base paint on your project. Primer helps paint achieve a uniform look on a project. The most common base paint for wood is flat white enamel. Painting the project 1. Choose the kind of paint you want to use, flat, semi-gloss, or gloss paint 2. Load your paintbrush with paint using a paint bucket or a tray 3. Start painting on the top part moving downward 4. Make sure that all sides were painted. Wait until it dry 5. Repeat painting if needed until you reach the desired outcome of your project. Activity time, direction, read each statement below. Determine in what ways of product enhancing the following skills belong to. Put a check to the column appropriate for it. Copy the table below on a separate sheet of paper to answer.